This video is all about the best Plexity settings to boost FPS in Roblox after the recent patch. Before applying these tweaks, my game was laggy and dropping frames. But after optimizing everything with Plexity, Roblox started running smoothly with much higher FPS. So make sure to watch till the end to get the best results. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to subscribe and drop a like to support the channel. So guys, before we dive into the Plexity settings, there's an essential Windows tweak you should apply first. Start by running Roblox in the background. Once the game is open, right click on your taskbar and select Task Manager. Go to the Details tab. This is where you'll see all the active processes on your system, including Roblox. Find your Roblox process it's usually named Roblox Player Beta.x in the list. Right click on it, then choose Set Affinity. A new window will appear showing all your CPU cores. By default, all cores are checked, which means Roblox can use every core on your system. However, depending on your CPU, manually adjusting this can lead to better stability and smoother performance. If you're running background tools like Discord, OBS, or a browser, uncheck one or two weaker cores so they handle those apps instead. If you want maximum in-game performance, you can assign Roblox to your strongest physical cores while leaving out virtual or less powerful threads. This helps minimize micro stutters and gives the game consistent CPU access without interference from other software. Next, right-click Roblox again. In Task Manager, choose Set Priority and select High. This tells Windows to give Roblox more system resources than other running processes, ensuring it gets top performance priority. It's a small but effective tweak that can noticeably improve frame consistency, especially after updates that make the game more demanding. Keep in mind, these settings are temporary and will reset when you restart your PC. So if you notice smoother gameplay, make this a quick part of your launch routine before each session. Now that we've finished the essential Windows tweak, it's time to move on to the most important part, using the new Roblox Plexity Pack to boost your FPS after the latest patch. First, download the Roblox Plexity Pack from the link in the description. Once it's downloaded, open the folder and go to the Registry Optimization section. Inside, you'll find a collection of optimized registry tweaks specifically designed to improve system responsiveness and reduce background latency. Apply each tweak one by one. These changes target key performance bottlenecks in Windows helping Roblox run smoother and more efficiently. After you've applied the registry tweaks, it's time to use Plexity itself. Install the program, then launch it. On the welcome screen, you'll be asked to choose between light mode and dark mode, pick whichever you prefer. Next, you'll see the Roblox priority setting, which controls how much CPU power Roblox gets. If your PC is on the weaker side, Set this to high so Roblox gets more processing power. If you usually run background apps like Discord, OBS, or browsers while gaming, keep it at normal to maintain balance and prevent freezing. Once that's done, Plexity will confirm your setup and bring you to the main dashboard. Inside Plexity, make sure to enable the following options for the best performance. Clean Roblox temp files clears leftover cache data that can slow Roblox down. Clean Roblox logs, removes unnecessary log files that build up over time. Enable multi-threaded rendering, let Roblox use all CPU cores for smoother gameplay. Allow cross-game teleportation limit, speeds up loading when switching between games. There's also a bottleneck detection feature that helps identify if your CPU or GPU is limiting your performance. You can leave it off for now since it's optional, but it's a handy tool for troubleshooting later. You can even customize your Roblox cursor directly from Plexity 
if you'd like to personalize your setup. Next, open the fast flag section. This is where the real FPS boost happens. Enable refresh rate. This lets Roblox match your monitor's refresh rate. For example, if you have a 144Hz monitor, Roblox will now run up to 144 frames per second instead of being capped. Use max frame rate. Removes Roblox's FPS limit entirely for unrestricted performance. Set texture quality to low. Ideal for smoother gameplay on low or mid-range PCs. Render mode, choose DirectX DX for the best performance and compatibility on Windows. After that, check out the plugins tab for extra tools like server info, ping display, and a quick uninstall feature. Once everything is configured, open the editor settings inside Plexity and click add new. Then go to your FPS boost pack, open the presets folder, copy everything inside and paste it directly into Plexity. Save your changes and confirm. Now launch Roblox and test it out. You should immediately notice higher FPS, smoother movement, faster loading, and far less lag. And if you're still looking to reduce ping and input delay, you can use Gear Up Booster to optimize your network connection. It's a great add-on for improving response time and competitive gameplay. To fix high ping and stabilize your network connection in Roblox, we'll be using Gear Up Booster First, download the tool from the official website. The link is in the description. Once downloaded, install it and open the app. You'll be asked to log in using your Google or Facebook account. Go ahead and sign in to unlock full access. Once you're in, head to the Home tab. If Roblox is already listed there, perfect. If not, go to the Games tab, search for Roblox and add it manually. Now return to the Home tab and click on Roblox. Then hit the Boost button. Gear Up Booster will now optimize your game settings and begin scanning for the best server. Next, it'll ask you to select a server region. Always choose the one closest to your physical location. For me, Middle East servers work best, but that may vary for you. If you're unsure which one to pick, just select Auto, and Gear Up will handle it for you. After selecting the server, a window will open, showing even more servers in your selected region. This is the Not tab, where you can manually switch servers if needed, or stick with automatic mode for consistent ping performance. Finally, close the window and launch Roblox directly from Gear Up Booster. This will apply all your settings and keep your connection optimized throughout your game. If done correctly, you should notice lower ping, fewer spikes, and a much smoother experience in Roblox. All right, guys, now that Plexity is fully optimized, the next step is to disable unnecessary background tasks that quietly eat up your system's performance and often cause stutters or lag during gameplay. Start by pressing the Windows key, then type Task Scheduler and open it. This tool manages automated system tasks that run in the background, even when you're gaming. Once it's open, carefully scroll through the list of active tasks. You'll likely find entries related to Windows Defender scans, Windows Update triggers, and system maintenance routines. These background tasks are designed for regular PC upkeep, but they can cause sudden CPU or disk spikes while Roblox is running, leading to lag or inconsistent frame rates. To stop this, right-click on each non-essential task, especially ones related to scheduled updates, scans, or reporting, and select Disable. Avoid disabling anything critical to your system startup or security, but most maintenance and update triggers are safe to turn off temporarily. By disabling these background processes, you ensure that Windows won't start running updates or scans while you're in game. This simple tweak can make your gameplay far smoother by preventing random stutters, frame drops, and CPU usage spikes. That's it for today's video. If these Plexity settings helped boost your FPS in Roblox, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.